This is Cody Krasicki with the Facebook marketing community. Uh, we'll soon be changing our name here uh, to reflect our subscription business, a uh, dollar a month for videos uh, on you know everything we do in the word marketing, such as this one. Uh, this is actually for WordPress, though, for business owners making their own websites. Say you want to make a uh, subscription page like this, but then you also want to have you know a separate page. You want to keep this down here on this page, and you want to have a different header on this page. But on your subscription page, you want a different header. And you want a different footer, and uh, you know this leaves you thinking, well, how do I create? Do I need to create or? It makes you confused. So then a logical question comes. How do I create two headers? I need two headers. One for this page. And a footer for this page. And one for this page. So what you need to do is, is you need to go into your files. Here, I'm in my base uh, WordPress folder. And go to WP Includes. And scroll all the way down until you find a thing called General Template, or you just hit G. I use Dreamweaver uh, to edit. We're going to go ahead and open up the file. And here it is. As you can see, we created a new header. Um, all we did is add an R. So what that means is, is you need to go back to your base folder and scroll down until you find your header or your footer actually go on your theme the active theme you're using the one that's current go in here and uh, right click if you're using FileZilla FileZilla and all you need to do is hit rename and add an R to the end of it for header and footer just add an R that's all you need to do and then you right click and you hit upload and it won't you know cover anything up because it's a new file so what this does is you just created a new header now how do you call the new header um, into your page what you want to do is, is you want to come here to your function and you want to copy this and then you want to paste it here and anywhere where it says header you want to add an R right down here leave it as header because right up here where it says name equals null do action hit name name is header all it says is the header is, and then it names it as header.php, so it pulls the new file from over here. Um, you don't need to know any more than that. Make it look exactly like it is here. And then you scroll down and you look for your footer and do the same thing. That's why I was going to make this video. And paste it in. Add an R. Add an R. Leave that alone. So you already you name it up here. So that's all you have to do. And uh, then save the file and go ahead and upload it. And then what you want to do is you want to, in my particular theme, I'd go to Pro. And I'd go to template feature and I'd open it up. And then I'd look on here and I'd find that this is the wrong thing. So then I'd go here to my WordPress. And I'd go to editor. And then I'd go to feature default page. Because this just happens to be how my template's set up. And then here where it calls the footer, I just changed it to an R. I'd hit update file. And now whatever I change in the new footer file will show up on the page I've called it on. This is Cody Krasicki, and I hope this helped out, and we'll see you soon.